As I promised earlier, we are going to build this Thunderbird version of HSD under 5mm jet. This is a kit, so we have to build everything from scratch. With the kit, there is uh, one particular item, uh, which is kind of important, um, which holds both the pieces together, upper piece and the bottom piece. And in addition to gluing, you have to make sure this goes in front, it ties up from the front. The piece I'm talking about has to go in from the bottom, that is from here, and the screw goes from underneath here. So this is actually upside down, so this goes on top of this. So when you buy the kit, you don't have a hole here. So what you have to do is um, have a drill and also get the drill bit to match the size of this and also first of all you have to make a small hole here because you can't use the drill, it will go everywhere otherwise. Uh, when I bought it there was a hole in the foam side of it but not the plastic. So what I did was just to make sure that I get the correct spot mark so I turn this upside down and put the we'll say pin uh, insert it from where normally it comes from the bottom and then screw goes here but I insert it from this side opposite side then I the trick is to put some lipstick here, once you have the lipstick, just align these button kind of things to make sure it goes exactly to the same spot. So, so these two are the good indicators so let's put it there and here we go and then you get the mark from the lipstick at the bottom of this then heat the torch up heat this one up find the center and make a hole that's about it. Then use the drill, drill it, and drill it very softly, very slowly. So that's how I, how I made the uh, hole there. Once you have done that, in order to test it, what you can do is let's put this back. And this is how it's supposed to be. So let's align the buttons again. Okay. Now this part has to go in here. So you can slowly insert it. If you want, you can first insert it and then push it. Okay, let's turn it the other way. I'm going to do it very softly because I don't want to break my landing gear doors. And the screw goes here. Yeah. So that's it. So it looks like this at the end and this is the front side uh, from top. So, so it is a very strong bond with the screw in addition to gluing the whole jet. Another important thing that I just want to uh, mention, uh, I'm going to use a gyro on this particular 
uh, system. Uh, I normally use gyro in all my jets. And uh, I bought this uh, A3 Super 3 um, Hobby Eagle gyro. Uh, everywhere I use that. It's very easy to uh, configure. Uh, there are a lot of YouTube videos about how to configure and things like that. So I'm not going to do another video on the same. And they are, they are pretty good. Um, so I have quite a lot of uh, gyros, um, the same brand, uh, same thing actually. So just to explain what I did while this is getting settled, I this is my control system. All the connectors will be underneath here. So this goes to uh, this area here. So what I did was uh, I just got the wiring done exactly the way that I want it um, and uh, basically we have uh, aileron elevator rudder going to the gyro and then from gyro it, it's going to come back to the um, control system and also there are few things going from the receiver directly to the control system so that is like the throttle throttle I have uh, split into two because we need uh, one goes to the throttle and the other one goes to the afterburner because both will be triggered by the throttle so uh, so we need that and also i have the brakes going directly to the control system and also i have landing gear so those three i have to separate so it comes out from the frame and straight away go to connect it to this one and the others actually from the receiver. This is my receiver, Spectrum uh, 8 channel receiver. I have telemetric, so I, I will be connecting that as well. Uh, and I will be uh, having a, a double side uh, Velcro here. So it will be like that. It will be connected like that, so it will be very steady. And, uh, and then these wires will come like that uh, and then goes to the gyro. Since gyro has to be very stable and solid, uh, should not be moving around, so I can't put any velcros there. So I have a solid uh, 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 form uh, to glue it to the to the, uh, the board here. So I'm going to place it like that, and and then the other wires will be going back. So there will be six wires coming out of the receiver, six wires going out of the gyro to the control system. So now here I have permanently uh, put placed the data cable. Uh, because uh, there are a lot of updates come, it's computer driven kind of, so it's very easy to um, um, get it connected, otherwise it will be very difficult to go to this slot and remove it every time and it will break as well. So I just keep it permanently um, here, uh, attached here, so that uh, if I want to do software updates, I can just do that very easily. So, and also there's a capacitor here. So if there's a voltage fluctuation or anything like that, this holds hold the power for a little longer so that those fluctuations will be eliminated, So which is good uh, for any system. So it comes with it, so I have that as well. So a uh, little bit about the control. To control the gyro, I have basically assigned uh, the gain controller here. So when I move this around, it will increase the gain of the gyro and reduce. Uh, I have a default setting uh, and then you can increase depending on the uh, the wind at, at the time that you are flying. Basically if you are crosswind and if it is a windy day, you increase the gyro and normally you should keep it low to the minimum because constantly it will be uh, moving the sows up and down and so it's not good for the house as well. So you should not be troubling sows that much. So, you know, you have to figure out the, the best uh, uh, for you, the way you configure your jet, basically. And also I have another one to change the uh, kind of the modes. So there are two connectors going from the uh, receiver to the gyro, uh, specifically to increase the gain and also to uh, switch the mode. Now I have actually three modes. I have off you must have off and then stabilization mode stabilization mode that means uh, it will automatically detect and change the elevator uh, aileron and the rudder uh, and then i have a 
self learning so basically if i'm in trouble like if i do not know uh, whether i'm uh, inverted or not sometimes you go further up and you get confused you don't know which one you can quickly switch to auto level so it will automatically level it so it happened to me a couple of times and it is very helpful uh, but once you auto level you can't you should not be manipulating it uh, i mean you should not be giving um, elevator um, aileron signal from the remote so that's going to uh, you know uh, deal with two signals and that's it's still going to respond it but it's, it's not a good good idea if you are buying uh, this particular jet uh, make sure that you have a gyro um, not necessarily that you have to buy from hsd but uh, you know um, you can buy from anywhere and it, it does the same thing first thing you are going to do is um, as i laid out on my table to test the most important main components. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is to connect the main landing gear and also I'm going to test the brakes and also the front landing gear. Also I connected the steering uh, to the rudder control and also elevator. Um, this is my receiver. Um, let me explain how it works. First, Let's get the remote started and then I'm going to start the uh, control, uh, control system of uh, this particular jet which is the white button and the plus button so I have marked it with the green uh, just to make sure I can see it clearly so hold the white button and press the green button for 3 seconds it will come up and uh, let me see the steering so as you can see steering is working very nice and also so elevator is connected so that is also working and let's check the landing gear and let's check the brakes first so i'm going to run it like that So when the brakes are on, can't move. Now we can move. Okay, so and let's get the landing gear. So landing gear is up. So I'm going to actually gear is down already. Works perfectly. So, in order to shut down the system, I have pressed the white button and the red button first, white button and red button, then and hold it for three seconds. Then switch off the remote. One thing I noticed when I connected uh, the uh, landing gear, one of the landing gear uh, has to go reverse. So you can see here red and black. This is black and red. So I had to swap. So um, I'm not sure why, uh, but this is the out all the eg and eb here so you have to print uh, a copy of what you get with the manual and then all the inputs from the receiver go straight away to the front side this is the front nose of the uh, the jet and this is back side so most of the output coming out of these three chat ports channels and all the in uh, from the receiver goes into the front side of it. It's very easy and it's nicely marked and also marked, nicely labeled. And also you have the, the diagram and explanation of how to correct which one is to correct. Now that we know most of the important uh, components are working, let's move on to the next step.